27. When Louis XIII died, his son, who was, do you know who was the son of Louis XIII? You're good. <laughs> so Louis XIV was only five years old. He didn't want to come to Versailles because he was too young. So he decided to come later when he get married and at this time decided not to destroy the small hunting lodge but to envelop it and to build the big palace of Versailles. And it took 50 years, 5 zero, 50 years to build all the palace. And it has been done during all the reign of the King Louis XIV. Because you know, Louis XIV was the king who has the longest reign of all the king of France. He reigned 72 years, he died, he was 77. You know, it was very unusual because at this time the way of life was very short. When you were 30, 3 zero, the same age as you, I'm sure. Yes, when you were 30, you. <laughs> you were very old and you died. And the king, he died 77. How could it be possible? You know, some people say, but the men should not listen. Huh? Some people say that it's because he has a lot of mistresses. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> Young one. I don't believe that. I could not. It's not possible. So, the palace in Versailles is divided in two wings. If you look on the left side, this is this wing, this is the queen's apartment. On the right, this is the king's apartment. So you see, the king and the queen, they live symmetrically. They have their own bedroom symmetrically. How could they have children symmetrically? I will explain eh, during the tour, okay? <laughs> so this is what we are going to see. King's apartment, queen's apartment. And in between both of them, you have what we call the hall of the mirror. The famous gallery, uh, the beautiful one where we used to dance over there and where was signed the Treaty of Versailles in 1919, who we'll finished the World War I. Okay? So, when Louis XIV moved here, before he used to live in Paris. In Paris, you have a famous palace called the Louvre. Now it's a museum, the Louvre Museum, where you have Mona Lisa. You have all of you, you know about Mona Lisa. Huh? Yeah. You don't know that I was the model of Mona Lisa. Oh. 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 Yeah. But you have my bro. The difference in between Mona Lisa and me now, when she smiles, she has no winkles. When I smile, I have winkles. This is only the difference now. So before, the Louvre was the royal palace of the King Louis XIV. But when he decided to move definitively here in Versailles in 1682, he decided to move not alone, to move with all the royal court. What is the royal court? The royal court, this is the nobility. 1,500 people who live close from the king, who are very important people, as you are today. Huh? But the king has them to move to Versailles to be sure that they are not going to do something wrong against the royal family. Because they did it when the king was very young. So he asked them, okay, now I'm moving to Versailles, I want you to follow me in Versailles. You are not going to live in the palace, you are going to live in Versailles. But in Versailles at that time was still a big forest. Only the palace was built. So he told them, I give you land in Versailles, I want you to build your house, but I don't want your house to be higher than the ground level of the Palace of Versailles. So if you look behind, you see all the houses are smaller, except it one a little bit further. This is the city hall, town hall of Versailles, which has been built in the 19th century. So nothing to see with the Palace of Versailles. So all the houses are smaller, except it one building which has been built during the reign of Louis XIV. You know which one could be higher than the Palace of Versailles? Which one? Which building could be higher? You don't know? Eiffel Tower didn't exist at that time, and it's not in Versailles. It's in Paris, 20 kilometers further. The church. Church, because Louis XIV, he said, God could be higher than me. So where is the church? Tell me where is the church? No, 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 in, in Versailles, in Versailles. Yes, you're right, he's here. You see the cross over there? So as you 
you can see the church is higher than the rest of the palace of Versailles. He said God could be higher than me. Uh -huh. So at the entrance also you have two wings. Those two wings are for the ministry. You know the king, he has, he, he governs alone. He has the absolute power. But of course he has ministry. But even if the ministry disagree with him, he didn't take care of that. He has the absolute power. Huh? Okay. So, um, is it okay? Yes. Now, now it's so.